and we'll go right welcome back and uh, I'm being joined now by Carrie Oliver for the top Hi everyone. Final. <laughs> right so top four uh, ladies and gentlemen is Daniel Breakwell Paul Culver Luke Southworth and Mark Harrison they're the top four uh, we're going to be watching the semi-final game between Daniel Breakwell and Paul Culver. I'm not quite sure what decks they are. The aristocrat deck is in the other one. Uh, thank you, Manali. I, w I was voting for the aristocrats. But <laughs> we thought we'd give you guys a, a, a change a change for it so we get to see another deck. So, how you, you were obviously, we had you on coverage a little bit earlier. Uh, oh, yes, yes, in, in my match. <laughs> yes. so long ago now. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, at which point it all went horribly how, wrong. Is that the downfall? That yeah, we so I went 3 0, and then you we saw me get crushed by Esper, which I think is a pretty bad matchup for Aristocrats <laughs> on reflection. Uh, I haven't yeah. actually played the match, the matchup much. Um, and then, yeah, it all went horribly downhill from there. My next match against uh, Prime Speaker Bam. No. Game one, he drew 16 cards. I lost that one. Game two, he drew. He he thought that wasn't enough, so he drew 22 cards. Oh yeah, that's yeah. The, yeah 16 wasn't nearly enough cards. I, I can't uh, beat that card advantage. <laughs> no, very few decks can, to be honest. Yeah, um, and that's his strength, isn't so it? That, it's yeah. just going to draw more cards than it's, you. It's how it works. <laughs> so, so was that? I mean, what did you end up on in standard? Uh, Aristocrats Mark Two. Oh, you ran Aristocrats. Yeah, Aristocrats yeah. So Mark I don't know if Luke's playing the the. Mark II combo version. Uh, he was version. playing Mark II. Yeah, yeah. I, I really II. like it. It's got a lot of lot of things it's going on. It's a really on. sort of nice setup. Yeah. Um, we'll just sort of go to the next, see if they've started setting the game up. Uh, no, we need to do this first. So we'll see if we've got the uh, link up. So I'm not sure what the decks they are running. Uh, hopefully it's not control <laughs> versus hope, control. Hopefully it's not control. Always have to like start dancing to entertain people oh, but now they can't even see us so that would be pointless they can't even see us um, so what before qu quickly before we start what's your current sort of take on on standard format as it is it's it's moment? just really diverse isn't it I mean so today there seems to be far less aggro than there was last week yeah um, I mean the place seemed to be surrounded by breeding pools turbo fog was popular I played prime speaker band several times um, you know um, the the bigger decks, I guess, which is what Aristocrat likes playing it. So the Reanimator yeah. seems down again this week. Yeah, so it's, I've, I've really not seen a whole no, lot of Reanimator here. No. I think there's and still one in the top It's because uh, I don't normally pay much attention to what's happening around me when I'm playing, but it's what you hear people saying. They're like, "Oh, I lost to this. Oh, I lost to that." And you're thinking, oh, "No one's really." Uh, there's been a bit of Naya Blitz, but no one said yeah. Reanimator. You know, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I was. Related. I was genuinely surprised with the lack of Reanimator being yeah. seen in this, especially yeah. since it's been doing really well at like the SCG events and a lot. Yeah, of, we've yeah. seen a lot of like top level finishes, and it's been really quiet today for some reason. Yeah, I, I don't know what's caused that switch really, because I don't know. There was there was a fair bit of aggro and Reanimator last time, and Aristocrats is really good against Reanimator, but very few people are actually playing it. Yes. So whilst it's strong. Um, you know, I didn't think that would cause cause the switch, and there's still not much aristocrats today. No. Um, obviously, it's, Luke's yeah, in the in the top eight. There's a couple of dots about uh, yeah, yeah. about of it. I mean, maybe uh, maybe this will turn out to be the aristocrats mirror, and I'll look really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, appar apparently the top four is all four different decks. Oh, cool. We've okay. got no we've got no mirror matches and that's, in the top that's four. That's the only point, isn't it? It's that's, so diverse. It's, it's the best kind of thing for standard, yeah. isn't it? You see four yeah. f top four all with four different decks. And it just shows you the diversity of the, of the format in general, so it's yeah, really sort yeah. of good to see that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, the deck list should be imminent, hopefully, so that we've got, that be good. we know what we're working with, because uh, at the moment we are literally just guessing off the top of our heads. <laughs> uh, uh, it could be anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't played either of these guys today. I'll, I'll probably prove to be wrong, and I played Paul, but... Um. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Sorry, we'll be able to tell after they've played their first land. Yeah. Well, in theory, we could. <laughs> it could be like a really abstract land. It could like, be an Orzhov Gilgate. They could I cut that. Because they're turn one cavern. Well, we don't know what they've named, so they could literally be anything. Oh, <laughs> that's true. That's true. We need little um, creature type dice. Yeah. Like they have the Tarmogoyf dice. They oh, need like human. I really wizard, want the Tarmogoyf fairy. dice. That'd be so awesome. I think it, that annoys me, the Tarmogoyf dice. Because you, you shouldn't have a dice. Well, for a so start, I just want Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf I'd rather have the Tarmogoyf, Tarmogoyf than the good, dice. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Aha. We've got Prime Speaker Bant with Paul Culver versus Reanimator. 
So there we go, there's the reanimated deck. Well, uh, the aforementioned uh, uh, missing, missing on archetype. On cue we have the deck list. So well, he's looking good as long as he doesn't meet Luke in the... <laughs> true, yeah. Luke in the so we've got the, the Bant control, or Prime Speaker Bant, fairly standard Bant. He's got the, the weenies for the mana gen, along with the Farsix as well. He's running both. Yeah, yeah. Um, he just wants to get there quicker these yeah. days. Smiters, Restoration Angels, Thrag Tusks, Two Acidic Slimes, Prime Speaker and Serenity. Fairly sort of standard setup for the Bant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Starting off with a Pilgrim. And the um, Reanimator is the standard Junk Reanimator. So it's got... Yeah, nothing, nothing unusual nothing, there in terms no. of targets, is there? Creative Angels, Creative Thrag Thrag Tusks, yep. Centaur Healers in there as well. Obsidat. Yep. So, yeah, again, fairly straightforward. Yeah. Um... No serenity though. See, Although was, there is three serenity. It's always worth there. running something spicy because then your opponent can be completely thrown out yeah. by it. Um, the band deck was playing clone. Yes. Which is interesting. I think I, I, I'm now concerned that I did play against Paul because he was <laughs> like, oh, I've got main, spit, main deck clones. And I think I beat him round one <laughs> if I did play him. Even though oh, there's two people with clones. Well, All see, if he plays really clones. old clones, it'll be him. Because ah. I had to go and check that they were standard legal. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a turn two. Loxodon Smiter from Bant. Yeah, whereas Reanimator can't really no go play. much wrong with that one, can yeah. you? But no, uh, no sort of dredge spells yet from. No, obviously they're not dredge, but land, graveyard filling. Land pass for uh, Dan. Yeah. Who's going to take the four? Dan. I do like Loxodon Smiter. It's it's an interesting one. We we were having a, a discussion about it earlier. How sometimes in some matchups, like the mirror matchup. Or against um, Naya with like Reckoners and stuff. It's really sort of bad matchup. Like here, mm. the Loxodon isn't massively useful against a Thragtus because yeah. Thragtus comes out of it better off. Yeah. Um, the thing is, though, like, like, so so last week I actually ran red with a small bit of green aggro. Yeah. And the reason I ran that is because all the mana bases are so. Uh, vulnerable I guess at the moment I mean look at all the acidic slimes coming in yeah. right um, and uh, if, if, if your mana base is that vulnerable if you trip and fall then if there's nothing to punish you because everyone's playing like fogs and tamios and yeah. prime speakers you know they're not they're not getting on with it whereas a Loxton Smiter says all right if you're not if you've been if you've kept a slightly dodgy keep or you're not on the ball you're just gonna die really oh yeah it's, it's definitely I mean it's seen so much play it's obviously a very good card yeah. There's no denying that the, the worth of the card a three cost for a four four. Yeah. I agree though. It's not it's not maybe the best no. card in the meta right now, but it's still it's just oh, a it's solid guy. Well, yeah, it's still a, a four four for three yeah. that can't be counted. So it's yeah. always going to hit the field. Yeah. It's always going to do well, especially where we've seen in the Bant decks where it's come on with uh, Gavney Townships. Yeah. And the townships just start making the, it's a silly card uh, yeah. <laughs> for a very cheap cost. So, so I, I can't see Paul's hand, but Daniel's is pretty stat. It's got double restoration angel, a um, burial hoof. rights, and a crater hoof. Yeah, that's a pretty solid. That's uh, a pretty solid. Card oh, to listen, have. That Paul, I miss Paul casting a frag tusk there, but I don't so know. They what played else the frag previous turn. The frag tusks are going to trade. Us knowing full well that that's going to be working very well for Daniel in a in a, in a turn's time. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, we're not even that. Oh, it's not even <laughs> going to get gonna to block that point. Um, just going to block it out. Makes sense because yeah. you don't want to lose the frag toss right now. I can see this, this the life gain in this deck, this matchup being rather ridiculous potentially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both reasonably small, uh, slow working decks that work on life gain. Yeah. It's going to get to. Yeah, we'll get, we might be going upwards before we go down. Yeah. Do they? Oh, and they do both have Rock's Faith Mender in the board. Yep. <laughs> they probably don't board it in in this match. Probably in not fairness, in this match. But just like, oh. Uh, Garrett me. comes in as his pay five, draw five in green. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep. It's a lovely green drawing card. So the, the Bant deck uh, I lost to, to go out of contention earlier today was running Call of the Conclave. Not Call of the Conclave, uh, Collective Blessing. Ah. So then it was Garrett comes in and he minus three to draw six because it was a beast token in play. Wow. <laughs> also, Prime Speak is even better with Collective oh, yeah. Blessing because it's like, all right, there's, there's like a f beast, so it gets six counters and then it's also got plus three, so I draw ten cards. Yeah, that <laughs> works. That works very well. So Thrag Tusk comes swinging in. Yep. Uh, unchallenged since everything's tapped out. Ah, it's an Arbor Elf, but it's probably not going to yeah, throw that's, itself in the way. That's not going to jump in the way anytime soon, is it? So Paul's in in Serenity Manor at this stage with his weenies on the field. 
Oh, uh, and, uh, yep. Oh, it's, <laughs> I think this like is the, the second time I've called this. There I think there might go. be a restoration angel in response to save the... Oh, uh, no. It's, yeah, there's not really anything worth saving there. No, it's two, Fair uh, two pilgrims and a resto yeah. angel. That's not... It didn't make the mistake of taking the frag tusk. No. That is that is always a bad thing to pick. Mm. Well, sometimes it's necessary. Well, not, you know, you yeah, still get rid of one to, of its life. It's not always it? the best pick to have. Are we going to see a resto? I'd probably taken the token over. Oh, I suppose it takes the mana away, though. Stops yeah. that creator who's being off. Sorry, that's fair enough. So we're going to resto in yep. the Thragtusk again. <laughs> yep. Gain more life. Oh, no. So we'll gain the five life off the tusk. And then probably block with the beast. Uh, yeah, the beast will probably block the uh, Thragtusk. the Thragtusk itself. So yeah, the tusk blocks the uh, the beast blocks the tusk. Yeah, there's the other beast. Yeah. And possibly um, there's the a net loss of minus one life, I think. Yes. <laughs> And minus three creatures, I suppose, with the angels. Yeah, you lose the yeah. creatures as well, but... Uh, yeah, I do like these big decks. I rarely play big fatties, but there's something <laughs> nice about it's, it's, power just, plays. Yeah, <laughs> you just sit PE for play. I'm going to play this huge creature. Well, I'm going to play this huge creature <laughs> yeah. in response. And you just get this, like, like knockout. It's like watching heavyweight boxing. <laughs> just these slow, massive swinging yes. punches against each other. It's to see who hits the most. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And also, I, I mean, that's kind of why I don't play these decks, because it's just so depressing. It's like, oh, you drew me all big things. Yeah, I ran out of big things to play. I oh, moved. you got to all your big things first. Yeah. I got stuck on five for about three <laughs> turns. Hmm. So we've got the, the Serenity still standing pretty tall, um, yeah. and I don't think there's really anything in his deck that can deal with it. Uh, what is it? It's the no, animated there deck. No, there is no actual removal whatsoever. Is other that, than is the that Angel normal? Of Serenity itself. I thought they normally had something. There should be something. Oh, he's playing Lingering Souls rather yeah. than in that slot, I imagine, and Centaur Healers. Yeah. He's a little bit more prepared for the, sort of the aggro yeah. it's, matchups. It's built for aggro against aggro. Uh, so it has no actual removal. So that Serenity is staying there for quite a while, I think. Which yeah. isn't a massive problem. It just turns into a 5 6 flyer. Yeah. Um, it's not a, a, a huge issue. Then you could do getting some things killed, though, to make his unburial rights are stuck in hand. Uh, yeah. He's I think he's just got Unbearable Rights Crater Hoof left. He so. has, yeah, he has. I mean, if he hoof finds that, it's seven mana for Crater Hoof? Or is yes, it? I yeah. believe so. So if he finds another land, he gets to, I'm sure someone will correct us. Yeah, yeah his own Angel of Serenity does work as uh, well. Yes, That's true. but uh, yeah, it's pr pretty good on all, all, me all the levels, right? <laughs> that answers most things. Eight mana is it for Crater Hoof? Really, is it eight? Aww. In fairness, I never see it cheated. I never actually see people hard cast it. Almost really? ever. <laughs> Everyone always cheats it into play. Because why wouldn't you? It's like well, Grizzlebrand. Yeah. Who who actually hard casts Grizzlebrand into play? Ever. I don't in think I ever format. got around to doing it in limited. <laughs> in any format, no one has ever hard cast <laughs> That is so not true. That is so not true. But it's pretty... Un I'd say it's rare. It's a rare It might even be a mythic have. rare. <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> Yeah, oh we've, we've had puns all day, it's fine. Yeah, we sorry. Get them a lot. They're, they're <laughs> going to get even worse though while I'm here. <laughs> My puns are the sort of ones that make you groan, think, or everyone think, just sort of shuffles away. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the, the, the best one I've done is, is hard casting Elish Norm back last season. Hard casting Elish Norm? Hard casting Norm. Yeah, that happened quite a lot though, didn't it? Because it was more of a. Yeah. It was meant to be just hard cast. You could, you could get to the mana quite quickly in that mm. in, instant. Yeah. But uh, the, the Serenity has swung through. Putting Daniel to 16, and a s second Smiter comes down. That's quite an impressive board position, especially when we know that there's, that's not changing any time soon. Yeah, either. yeah. I mean, uh, well, this guy, I think, is an angel. Is uh, yeah, as unless unless an angel comes down. Although uh, he hasn't got enough mana for it, which no. is kind of a bit awkward. What did he oh, just he does draw there? Oh no, that's a. Oh, it's a land. Grizzly salvage. Oh, that's grizzly salvage. I can't really tell. Well, there's the serenity. Yeah, he's got so he's the got reanimator the in roads. his hand. Yeah, he needs a land. Oh, none of them are land. Unless so he, that's he puts a, a land to his hand from the salvage. Is it? Is there a land there? Are they caverns? Oh, that's a lol troll. Sorry, lots left troll. Lots left troll. It's lol troll. It's lol troll. <laughs> Everyone knows what I mean. Everyone knows what lol troll is. Oh no, there's a cavern. If he takes yeah. the cavern, so he take, can and burial rights the angel. You yeah. drop the three creatures into the graveyard, <laughs> and you play. Oh, don't reanimate. take no, don't take lol troll. Oh, is he going for the... Uh, you he don't have to discard and burial rights. Sack, no, he wants to sack Crater Hoof. Oh, that's so fair. Oh, yeah, because that will probably just win on the spot, won't it? Yeah. yeah. So he's... he's, he's yeah, I can see where yeah. he's going with that. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a sensible option. 
Yeah. Um, I forgot about the crater hoof, you see. So there's Probably. the lolly troll. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lolly troll. Lolly troll. <laughs> <laughs> I do like lollipops. Yeah, it's the lolly troll. <laughs> he doesn't look that tasty. Uh, no. Uh, feeling so of dread. Ooh. That's going to hurt. That? What's that? That's, uh, this is in, that's in his sideboard. Nope, it's main board. Oh, yes, one, one. In, one in the one main. One in main board. Spicy. And that's I was talking about spicy one-offs. There uh, it is, winning yeah. in the game. And that wins him game one. So 1-0 one to the uh, Prime Speaker band. So Can he avoid that if he pays the... Let's just discard the angel and takes the land. Because he, he gets to take if away... If he the land, that means three creatures are gone. In yeah. theory, that, that does yeah. prevent Take away game. angel... Angel... And two, um, two Loxton Smiters. That's a lot of damage no that's longer hitting through. That's a lot of through. damage. Uh, so uh, it depends if you want to go if you want to go for the win next turn or the avoiding dying to the feeling of dread you probably didn't expect. Yeah. yeah. So if, I can't expect him sitting there going, right, he's got a feeling of dread in his turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And he's going to have it in of, his though. hand. Sweet one of. So, so sideboard options. Yeah. Uh, the so Prime Speaker's got Memory Debt. Oh, no, and memory a Memory Journey, journey yep. which, which he's not going to really help. So uh, well, it get, no, it's um, possibly it's graveyard hate. So oh yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it works. It's a graveyard. So Leslie so Charm deals with his big with fat stuff. That yeah, yeah, it's that coming so in. That yeah. works. Acidic slimes. Acidic slimes, possibly. I don't, I don't really know if acidic slimes. Not massively useful against this deck, I don't think. No, although they do need to get, you know, their fifth. And the specific colours, don't yeah. they? they need to get the white and the black. Uh, I'd be interested if if anyone's played it. Um, uh, feeling three more of feelings of dread. <laughs> see now, see this is one of those really awkward situations, isn't it, where it was really sweet game one, but it's probably not. No. Well, I don't know. Create it shuts down creator hoof. Yeah, it shoots down the creator hoof. But uh, you've faith, got charm yeah. for that. Faith mender. No. No, not no. in this. No, not healers, healers again, no. not massively useful. Sphinxes. Yeah. Possibly just to keep his yeah, hand. Yeah, I mean, what, what's he going to? What's he been taking out? That's the. It's again. Yeah, the other it's a question. Possibly the acidic slimes. Yeah, if, if, I mean, I, I, I think I'd be looking to bring in the five cards, the three memories journeys and the two slows. Yeah, jumps, so you so. can possibly take out the two acidic slimes yeah. and the three cards that you need to also take out. That's a bit more difficult. M maybe the possibly, smiters. Possibly the um, one of the set, uh, the Arbor Elves and keeping the pilgrims. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't think you probably need. I, to I haven't played the deck enough, but that's um, that's my sort of gut yeah. feeling area. Sideboard for the reanimator it has Cavern of Souls. No, not really not useful. Gonna in this need instance. that. Tragic Slip. I think it's well. Quite yeah, it's useful. Probably quite useful. It's in quite it, yeah. It's quite hard to get. Like, not much died in that game. Yeah. Did anything die in that game? I don't think anything died in that game. No, At which point that's, you're that's never turned no, on. He has no removal. That's he has why. no removal, and it's just going to be if they trade, I suppose. But yeah. Mm. Uh, death rites. Not massively useful no, in this, this matchup. So abrupt decay. Abrupt. I mean, it kills lots and smire, but as we said, we'll probably we're, yeah. we're consider taking them out. Faith so. Mender. No, no. Obsidat. Uh, Obsidat. Obsidat. Possibly. Good. So he gets the second Obsidat. Very hard to, for this deck to deal for the band deck to deal Acidic with. Acidic. Yeah. <sighs> Again, uh, now this season, that deck is more vulnerable to it because it doesn't have the reanimate package. Yeah. So I think I probably would bring that. <laughs> Still clash spot. I love it. Uh, I love it. Killing off those angels. You've got to love the oh, spider. I'm bringing that in. You've got to love the spider tech. Restoration angels. With its, and with its seven defense as well. Yeah. It sits there and goes, yeah, just keep swinging at me. I don't all care day. about you, Loxton Smiter. <laughs> Get out of my face. Important component of Spider Tribal. Which was the sweetest deck I've ever seen played at a PTQ. <laughs> you saw a spider tribal at yeah. PTQ? Yeah, not today. It, oh. was, a, it was last season of Core Blade, when Core Blade was big. Oh, yeah. And uh, the, the spider tribal deck went 2-0, having got the buy in round one, and then beat a Core Blade deck that went on mass tilt, oh. having oh. lost a spider tribal. <laughs> That's amazing. Yep. <laughs> it was awesome. you got to love it when somebody goes, yeah, I'm going to play a spider deck. Sorry, what? <laughs> spider deck. Yep, yep, yep. It was You're awesome. Like, <laughs> you'd, you'd be sitting at the start of that game going, oh, I'm laughing here. I'm yeah. playing Spider Tribal. There's no way I can go wrong here. And then at the end of the game going, what the hell happened? Yeah. How did I lose to Spider Tribal? <laughs> yeah, <it's a> <laughs> of all the tribal yeah. decks you can build, yeah. losing to spiders is pretty <laughs> embarrassing right there. Best Spider is in World Wake. My favourite Spider. Which of all one time. was that one? It's a, it's because it's World Wake. Obviously, it's a two-one. Yep. Uh, it's a two-one for two, and it has Death Touch. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Death 
Uh, someone, World, someone will remember. World Week has a lot to answer for. <laughs> I loved World Week. World Week was when I started playing Magic. Zendik- like my first previous event, World Week. Uh, so it's got a special place. <laughs> see, Zendikar is my favourite block. Um, primarily because it was hilarious watching people go. Because you watched the original Zendikar block, and they went Eldrazi Monument, and everyone went, "What's an Eldrazi?" And they're like, "You don't want to know." And, <laughs> and then World Week came out, and I have Ugin got released, and they're like, "Eldrazi spells are too cost cheaper to cast." They're like. So what's an Eldrazi card that? You still don't want to know. <laughs> and then Rise of Eldrazi came out and they went, Oh dear gosh. And they're like, Told you you didn't want to know. <laughs> at least they weren't in the same draft form. Oh yeah, that was... Yeah, at least Rise of Eldrazi was its own separate yeah. draft. Because it was such a big set. Rise of Eldrazi was a really weird draft format for me. Because I started... like When it first came out, it was sweet. I loved it. did really well. I went away for two or three weeks. I was like, came back. And I was just like... Everyone learned how to draft it differently, <laughs> and now my strategy sucks. I did tend to end up drafting the, um, there was a combo with Blood, Blood Frame Vampire and the guy that taps to, no, there was a way to make him unblockable, and then you could sack everything. Oh, Pawn of, Pawn of Umlog yeah, was part Pawn of, of it. Uh, I, I ended up drafting that every week. <laughs> it wasn't even that good. <laughs> it was just like, oh, it's there again. Yeah. Oh, so we're, we're, we're playing the, uh, let's play as many tap lands as we can, Faith. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the oh, goes two first. Drop. Farsi. We're the Farsi. So yeah, well, he's still playing. Yeah, I'm playing more <laughs> tap lands than you are. Uh, <laughs> turn two. Turn two. I've got three tap lands. Yeah, Beat that. Fair, fair. Reanimator. My opponents played far too many turn two Farsi today. I'm sure they're all <laughs> sneaking them to the sneaking top. Sneaking them to the top. The yeah, yeah. Always nice. Ah, uh, turn two Farsi. Just, just so far ahead. Yeah. Especially when you're on the dr- on the play as well, so you get a, a, like a whole extra land up in front of them, yeah. and you're like, that's or even just on the draw, it's like, uh, you fall, if they don't fast seek, you're like, well, yeah. you know that that tempo would f- fin- advantage you had. You don't. How did you end up finishing? Uh, I went free. Well, technically the record stands at three four because I dropped at three three, but they <laughs> got in for the next one. I was like, I don't want to play this. So <laughs> it was three three, unfortunately. In the end, I found a I found a very interesting aristocrats deck that was running a symbol, the Legion, which Ooh. is like Sorin that's gone absolutely bananas. Yeah, it's like it one like dark guy a time. Nah. <laughs> consistently make that more and more creatures that I have sack fodder for. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really have an answer to Assemble no, the Legion Very few people deck. don't have an answer to Assemble the mm. Legion. It's a really nice card to play. Yeah. So flashing back the re, uh, Lingering Souls for Reanimator, it's gone, I'm not going to play any big creatures, I'm just going to aggro you with tokens. <sighs> uh, an Unanswered Souls is goes pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, that's why I've been playing today. So And against against the band which we've established doesn't have a lot of mass removal, if any. So those lingering souls are gonna stay there pretty much. Yep, although you know it can be blocked by all their other flyers. Although yeah. mm, so we've got an acidic slime which has blown up a land. Ah, so it probably did so bring kept them in. The slime. Yeah, I think I think that's probably right. Yeah, it slows the deck down. It I might be more tempted to keep the slimes in on the play and take them out on the draw. I mean he's on the he's on the draw, but actually I think it might be one of those Cards that, yeah, because they, you know, but unless you, if you do, if you, even if you ramp, it's going to be turn four before you play a slime, and then they've already got to, if they've ramped as well, you they're going to be four or five and already doing their things. Whereas on the play, especially if you far seek, get it down and take out their third land, yeah, and you can tell if they're looking vulnerable on black or blue or whatever. Yeah, it's um, interesting. I think Paul was setting up for a Serenity next turn with the uh, Pilgrim, which is now not going to happen. Oh, did it did it slip into a grave? Oh, he did slipped, bring in the yeah, tragic slip. It tragically oh, slipped. That's fair, we'll get rid of um, the mana dudes. The resto comes in, bouncing the acidic oh, slime. See, now that's when it gets really, really nasty. I'm going to run Bant Land Destruction, thank you very much. Uh, pretty much, yep, yeah. yeah. I mean, he, this is really weird I work for him because Daniel stumbled on lands and... Yeah. He far seeked and Daniel didn't, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's he's now three mana up. Yeah. And has the race in hand, yeah. especially now when he's going to play another, another restoration. Oh, blowing up another oh, land. I, I feel Daniel's pain. Oh, he's going to. That is not fun, he's magic. Grizzly salvage, hoping he gets a land out of these five cards. There's one, and it is a swing and a miss. Uh, I thought, oh no, no, no it he's got a land. he's got a weenie. He's going to keep the crate hoof. Keep the crate hoof. The rest goes away. And he is going down to one land against That's pretty much a, ve- a, game, a very dangerous-looking band deck. I mean, it's, the band deck has eight power on the board. Lingering Souls just isn't yep. going to get there, is it? And they're just not going to catch so up. So I had, I had this debate with, uh, with an opponent earlier 
because uh, he was playing Restoration Angels and Acidic Slimes, and he game one he got a little lucky because he took out my my white source. Um, and I didn't have any more, and so he kept them in. But against Aristocrats, your curve's so much lower. You're just like, well, you play Acidic Slime on four. I don't care. Yeah. I've already played Falcon Wrath yeah. Aristocrat, and it's too late for you now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, against Reanimator, where they're playing. Yeah, this is this is. Oh, was it actually a BMF? I think it might have been the he's Pilgrim. Got a Pilgrim in there. Uh, I think it might have been a pilgrim off the Grizzly Salvage. The creature doesn't make yeah. any sense. I think it's the promo one that looks a little bit. Oh, like it might have been a pilgrim, yeah. So he's, he's at least got uh, he's got a land down. So he's now still at least back to three land, essentially. Yep. Uh, he's gonna have to throw stuff in the way. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh that is painful. Oh, 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 oh. So very painful. Someone needs to tell Paul that that's actually rude. Paul, that's not cool, man. Yeah. Not cool. If you want to do that, go and play Legacy. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> he should Legacy, play Rug, yeah. Rug Delver. That's that's Legacy playing oh, right there. Oh, oh, that's just. So so <laughs> after running Bant Pox. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Four lands in the graveyard later. Yeah. Daniel Bant, is seriously Bant, considering conceding. I think. Yeah. Bant Pox as as defeated. Oh, and he has like angel and yeah. and burial rites in hand and that is, souls and yeah, yeah, that is that is a soul crushing game. This is good pun. Soul crushing. Yeah, <laughs> the sort of yeah, yeah. The lingering soul. I don't know if it was intentional, but it was good. I'm, I'm going to take it. I'm going to claim it. That's you know, <laughs> I'm not commenting again if I have to watch slaughters like this. It's just painful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, you come in. We had nice. Sort of I am very glad I'm not yeah. on the other side of that table. See, we had we had nice sort of two one games playing in yeah, the last yeah, round. Yeah. Turned up and we we get this <laughs> massacre of an event, <laughs> and we're going to get six mana coming down, five mana. What's coming down for this? Is it a threat? Why, why is he putting anything else on the board? If that was another Exidic Slime, I'm just going to go <laughs> go to the other table I mean, I and know, slap I, him. I know he's, but the thing is, I know he's winning at this point. I and mean, this is just a point for Playpool looking to improve in general. Yeah. He's already got there we go. infinite damage on board. Yeah. You don't need to put anything else no. down, even if it's a frag tusk. If your opponent, I mean, what if his opponent miracle determinus? He'd look really <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Like it shouldn't shouldn't be terminus in the deck, but you don't need to play anything else. Let's just. Uh, it was showing off, I think, more than anything else. Is the oh yeah, game. but that's not nice either. He's just no. destroyed the guy's <laughs> meta base. Yeah. Just, you know, just just I'll accept your win and off uh, take the handshake. I will destroy your land. And then I will blow up <laughs> after blowing up your field, and then I'll. I just play like, and, and still got all these. And then I'll play a thrag. <laughs> Why? Because I can. <laughs> are you going to deal with it? Of course you're not. You've got one land because I blew oh, it look, all up. Oh look, that's what he boarded out. So he did take out the smiters yeah, and the feeling the of dread, out. which I think yeah. I think was right. It was good. It was and good two choice to take and the out. two Garricks. Yeah. Yeah. Although that surprises me, because surely Reanimator struggles a little bit to deal with. Um, it deals. It doesn't deal with planes planeswalkers because, particularly. I'd have kept them. Um, what did he bring? What did he bring? What did he think to bring in? Memories, journeys, and the charms, yeah. which we fought. But then, what's the other Garrick for? So he's, he's taken out six. So he's put in the. Oh, um, uh, oh, he did. Oh, maybe he brought in one of the. S so uh, he brought in the Slesnia charms and the memories journey. Possibly an acidic slime, just to make it more frequent. Oh, uh, maybe it was. Maybe it was. Uh, I think there was one charm and then two slimes. Yeah. Because there was only one. I couldn't see what ah, the other right. two cards were, so that would make so sense. So that's. Paul Carver in the final. Yep. With his Bant Pox. Bant Pox. <laughs> Bant Pox is Bant that one. Land one. Destruction. His, his, his Land yeah. Destruction Prime Speaker Bant deck. <laughs> his I Want to Be Playing Wasteland deck. <laughs> yeah. I was oh. half expecting to see like Ghost Quarters as yep, well. Just yeah, there yeah. Going, just go I'm going to turn these into strip mines. I think Ghost and Quarters is actually really strong at the moment. I was really playing is. lands. Nobody plays it. I was though. playing two planes and someone Ghost Quartered my land. I was like, I'll go look and see if Bant I can still win. Bant <laughs> a very potential final. 